Hello guys, welcome to Young Chef's Diary. Today we're making braised ox cheeks. Ox cheek is a tough cut of meat, so we have to braise it for a longer period of time, but on the lower temperature to make it very tender. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're going to cut everything so we do not have to waste any more time when we start the cooking. I'm going to use around 700 grams of ox cheek, cut it into large chunks. Then we're going to chop one large onion, one carrot and a couple of celery stalks. You do not have to cut it into small cubes, a rough chop will be just fine. We're also going to crush three cloves of garlic. And now let's start the cooking. First, heat up your pan on a high heat and add a generous amount of oil. Once the oil is hot, drop in the ox cheeks, season it with salt and pepper and cook it until it builds a beautiful brown crust. The more color you allow to develop, more flavorful it will get. Cook both sides of the ox cheek. Once it develops a lot of color, transfer it to a baking dish. Use the same frying pan to cook your vegetables. Do not wash it. It has a lot of flavor on the bottom of the pan. Add more oil if needed and season it with salt. Cook the vegetables until it starts to develop some color. Then add a heap tablespoon of tomato paste and cook it off a little bit. Then add around one cup of red wine. I'm going to use Cabernet Sauvignon. Let the wine to reduce. Add a couple of bay leaves, some dried or fresh thyme and rosemary, a couple of teaspoons of sugar, and add around two cups of beef or chicken stock. Bring everything to a boil, take it off the heat and pour it over the ox cheeks. Now cover the baking dish with aluminum foil and cook it in the oven 
on 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit for around 4 to 5 hours. The ox cheeks should be so tender it would fall apart once pressed. An hour before taking out the ox cheeks or after it's done leave it in the oven and now we're going to make some mashed potatoes to serve with the cheeks. Peel some potatoes and put it in a salted water. Boil until the potatoes are tender. The knife should go in easily, but it should also come out just as easy. Drain the potatoes. In the separate pot, heat up some milk and butter. Pour the milk and butter mixture over the potatoes and start crushing. Don't forget to season it. Mash it until it reaches your desired consistency. Add as much or as little butter as you like, but let me tell you three French secrets for making the best mashed potato. First is butter, the second is butter, and the third, you guessed it, butter. Now to finish the cheeks, drain the braising liquid into the pot. Reduce the liquid until thick and so it covers the back of the spoon beautifully. You can add a little bit of dark chocolate to make the sauce more rich. To serve, add some mashed potatoes in the bowl, make some space in the middle, add the ox cheek with or without the vegetables. Pour the sauce on top and I like to finish it with some caramelized onion and some chopped parsley on the top. And that is my version of braised ox cheeks. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Young Chef's Diary channel to never miss out on the new videos. Leave a comment below what do you think about this recipe and what kind of recipes you would like to see here on this channel in the future. If you would like to know more about my favorite kitchen tools, the links are going to be in the description box below. And as always, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time with another new video. Culinary fact! The natural food source for cows is grass. But most cows now eat a grain based diet. It does make a difference in the beef product you are eating. Grass fed beef is leaner with a healthier fat profile compared to a grain fed beef. Grass-fed beef is pricier, but also more flavorful.